Hello again, I'm Gary Stearman. Welcome to Prophecy Watchers. Bob Ulrich and I have something really exciting to announce today, and that is the completion of our website as we have envisioned it right from the beginning. Bob, it's going to be fantastic. Well, we're there, finally. Uh, we feel like a, kind of like a proud father announcing the birth of a new child. Oh, yeah. You know, it's only been 45 days since we launched the Prophecy Watchers, so in 45 days, uh, the Lord has helped us accomplish great things. You've helped us accomplish great things, and it's exciting to be able to announce some of the changes that are coming effective right now. Yeah. And speaking of those changes, I'm going to have Bob go through a list of, of some of the things that you can expect to see uh, from now on, really, and we're going to be improving as time goes by. Several items are going to be featured on our website, and let's just go through them one by one. And let's talk about uh, uh, Gary's commentary. Well, Gary's commentary is going to be a, a regular update on prophetic news, things that Gary finds in the world of Bible prophecy, studies that you uh, come across in your own personal studies. And we're going to be doing this probably two or three times a week. It probably won't be every day. But uh, as Gary finds things, he's going to want to share those with you. You know, what I love to do is answer questions. Uh, I, I like to answer Bible questions. It, it, there's something fulfilling about that, Bob, and people have a million of them. Uh, <laughs> and essentially, every time I open the Bible, I, I'm answering a question. That is, there's something written here that I need to understand. And if somebody else asks the question, maybe you, uh, I, I delight in, in answering those questions. And I've been doing Ask Gary for years. And we've continued the Ask Gary column on our new enhanced website. In fact, you're going to see things on here that we're, we've been working on for 45 days quite diligently. Ask Gary is one of them. You're going to be able to read questions from other people and see Gary's answers. You're going to be able to ask a question of your own, and who knows, Gary may even answer it. Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> that's what we're counting on. And of course, there are hundreds of questions, and I think people realize that you can't answer every question. But we're going to choose the best of the best. You know, a big part of the website moving forward for us in the days ahead are going to be regular interviews like you've been used to in the past from all of our friends, L.A. Marzulli, Bill Salas, Avi Lipkin, Mark Biltz, Jonathan Kahn. All these guys are going to be back with us in the days ahead. You're going to see their interviews on our website for now. In the days ahead, we're going to be back on television. We have now acquired enough money to buy two television cameras. We are diligently working towards that third and last camera, which is really what's going to enable us to go back on television in a studio format. Uh, we're very close. We're hoping that you guys can pitch in like you have already in the days ahead, and maybe in the next week or two, we'll acquire that third camera. And once we do, we can begin laying the groundwork to go back on network television. Interesting times in which we live. We're really anxious to get online and on the air once again. Now, as many of you know who have followed Bob Ulrich for some years, he, he is probably one of the best Christian book reviewers out there. He reads the books. He tells other people about what's in them. And uh, really, uh, Bob's Christian book reviews are uh, a, a staple. And that leads me to the bookstore. Uh, there's going to be an online bookstore. Well, it's there. It's officially launched. You'll see a big, beautiful banner proclaiming Prophecy Watchers as the number one premillennial bookstore in America. It's not quite there yet. In fact, my wife and my son have kind of had to hold me down a little bit. I would like to literally unload 400 products in that bookstore immediately because I've written all the copy for all 400 products. Yeah. Initially, the bookstore you see today is probably only going to have about 35 products in it. Uh, things that we think you'll find interesting and fascinating. Uh, the bookstore has been a long time coming, a lot of pre uh, preparatory work. But it's here. You're going to see new products in the days ahead, things that are really going to bless your life because, in my personal experience, a book literally changed my life and set me on a new course and a new direction, you know, over 25 years ago. And coming soon, we're going to have studies with Stearman uh, as part of our uh, website. And... Uh, that alliterates a little bit, studies with Stearman, but you know, that's what I do. I love to study the Bible, and 
Bob, it's not something I have to force myself to do. It's just, uh, it's something the Lord put in me, and, and I love to study and then to share my discoveries with other people. That's in your DNA. There's no question about it. And in fact, studies to, with Stearman really has a ring to it, and you're going to get to read a lot of Gary's uh, research and writing in the days ahead. Now, there's one really critical part of the website you're going to want to see. You know, number one, we have a Facebook page that you can begin to see updates that we're going to begin to post on a daily basis. Number two, uh, we have an email newsletter, and this is really going to be critical in the days ahead. In fact, we've been taking steps to actually have someone who's going to help us with this. It's going to be well-designed. It's going to be well-crafted. It won't be a printed magazine at this point, but it'll be something very similar in the days ahead. It'll have writing from Gary. It'll have opinions and writing from other authors and other personalities, news from Israel, book reviews. There's a whole lot of things that are in the works, and we really want this to be something that you look forward to getting each month. Yeah, and as a PDF, it, it'll be a magazine that you can print off if, you, if you'd like to, so that you can actually carry around a copy. You become your own printer, in, in effect. <laughs> Gary, the world is uh, in chaos right now. We've had oh. a conversation this morning about the things that are going on in the world today, um, the attacks that are going, and why we're doing what we're doing. You know, I always go back to the 14th chapter of John. You know, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And if I could summarize what we're doing here, Gary, I can't summarize it better than John did in that verse because we're waiting for Jesus. That's what the prophecy watchers are actually watching and looking for. And our deepest motivation is sharing the Word of God with you in a rapidly changing world. You know, somebody has to bring understanding to this crazy world. You look at the Middle East, you look at Europe, you look at global economics, uh, politics. It's all getting crazy. Uh, publications communications, uh, carrying around a camera that masquerades as a telephone. I mean, we're living in times, Bob, that I wouldn't have dreamed of 15, 20 years ago. It's, uh, uh, we live in a, in a fast-paced world of electronic change, electronic change and sagging morality. And I, I just wanted to remind you about Daniel 12.4, probably one of the, the most uh, recited prophetic verses in the whole Bible. Uh, where uh, the Lord essentially says to Daniel, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Bob, we're there. We are there. We're there. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Now, the many shall run to and fro, and, and of course there are long commentaries about this, has, has a twofold explanation. Uh, if you read the Hebrew, it has to do with running to and fro across Scripture, uh, using your finger as a pointer, and reading the Word of God. And it indicates that many in the last days will study the Word scrupulously to try to find out what's written there to help us understand the times. On the other hand, there's another implication in running to and fro, and of course, you know what that is, it's travel. Today, we have access to travel like we've never had it uh, ever. And travel incorporates many, many factors, changing societies, the transmission of disease, uh, the way the economic system operates, and Daniel says, at the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Right now, they're talking about an event somewhere uh, within perhaps the next 20 years in which a singularity will be reached, at which point human intelligence will uh, merge with the intelligence of computers, and man shall become his own god. If that isn't knowledge being increased, I don't know what it is. Now, I don't believe that's going to happen. The secular planners are trying to make it happen. Daniel talked about the increase of knowledge. I think he was talking about scriptural understanding, and that's what drives us here at Prophecy Watchers. 
a simple desire to share with you our knowledge of Scripture and the knowledge of others as, as we find it in books. And that's Bob's job. He goes out there. He looks for the, the, for the publications that he believes will bring you a maximum understanding of the times and the seasons. And Bob, we're ready. We're living in the last days. There's no question about it. We need that third camera. This little book by Gary, Time Travelers of the Bible. We're hoping this is enough to get us there. For your donation of any amount, we'll send you a free copy of Gary's book, Time Travelers of the Bible, fantastic read. That little book is helping us acquire the cameras we need to go back on network television. That's driving us today. We want to go back on TV. We want to be back in your family room as soon as possible. Bob, we have uh, a calling, and I don't know what else to say except that. Uh, I know you feel this way. I feel this way. Uh, there is there is much that needs to be done in these closing days uh, of the age in which we live. And we thank you for watching. We thank you for helping us in, in any way that you can, from prayer to support in any way you feel led of the Lord. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you all for Bob Ulrich and for Prophecy Watchers. I'm Gary Stearman. Hey, keep watching.